Uh, good afternoon, Trey. Uh, happy Sorry. to have you back for another season. Um, Two-part question. Uh, can you talk to me about your, your summer? We've seen you this summer. You know, we've seen you in Pro-Ams. Uh, we've seen you debuting your new sneaker. Congratulations on that. Uh, could you talk it. to me about your summer? And then uh, secondly, could you talk to me about some of your goals and what you may have set for yourself in this upcoming season? Yeah, I mean, it's been a, a great summer for me. Um, my son was born uh, June 2nd, and then I really got to go out to L.A. and start working and training for this next season, uh, June, July 15th. And I've been out there just training and, and locking in, and I brought some of my brothers out, uh, J.C., I brought him to L.A. To, to play in the Drew. After all, everybody's trade rumors and everybody's talking and everybody's saying stuff. And then we went up to Seattle and we hooped up there. So it's been a great summer of hooping and playing and getting better and I'm just ready to go play this year. Trey, Rafael from the Three Point Conversion. First, how has it been? It's like every time I turn the TV on, you're all over. So just the marketing, commercials and everything. And then plus, coming into your fifth year, I believe, is there anything specific that is like now I want to work on? Uh, I mean every. I mean, yeah. I mean, first, yeah, it's, it's cool being on all the all the TVs and stuff with the new commercials and things like that. Obviously, always got some new stuff coming up that y'all don't even know about. Uh, so be on the lookout. Um, but no, nah, I just. I mean, this this year I'm just so locked in on winning a championship, and and nothing else like. That's pretty much it, and um, I mean, I always want to get better in all my areas of my game, so I'm always trying to get better offensively. I mean, I, no matter what I do, these league is points and assists, I still feel like I can get better offensively um, in certain areas, and then defensively, I feel like I'm always going to try to get better, and I need to continue to get better on that end, and um, getting stronger and is one of my main focuses this, this summer, and it's been great, so I'm looking forward to going out and playing. Hey, Trey, could you uh, tell us what you learned from working out with Stephen Curry and his trainer this summer? And also, did you put on some weight? Yeah, I mean, uh, great, great second question. Uh, the, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm always putting on, trying to keep more muscle on me than fat. Um, and as I get older, I'm going to always get, get stronger. So, uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, working out with Brandon, uh, Steph a couple times was great. Um, I mean, I'm a sponge to learning new things. So I, every year I try to get better and try to add something new to my game. And so being able to work out with Brandon, uh, I mean, it was, was great learning so many mechanics and little things and little details that really matter um, to great shooters um, that most people don't even know. Uh, I was able to really learn and um, just want to continue to learn. I, I don't know it all still, but uh, I feel like I know a little bit more. Trey, to, to your left, Nate talked about going out to Oklahoma City for, for a couple days and working out at your place with you and talking to you. Can you just talk about what you got out of that? And I'll have a follow-up. Uh, yeah, I mean, we got a lot out of it. I think we both got to spend some time with each other and um, learn a little bit more about each other. Uh, him coming down, obviously, wanting to, to talk about what we can get better at and then playing a little bit off the ball and then me also being able to tell him I have how I grew up playing off the ball, and um, I had to learn how to be a PG. And uh, so I know how to do a little bit of off the ball playing. And uh, so we got to learn a lot from each other and, uh, I mean, got to work on some things. And um, so it's been great, and uh, I'm looking forward to the season. He, he also talked about more of an intangible off the court level, you guys communicating more and you becoming, maturing, becoming even more of a leader than, than whatever you are now. Could you just sort of address that, your communication with him that maybe it needed to get a little better than what it's been? Uh, I mean, I think anybody's communication can get better. I think everybody's, um, I mean, I don't think, I think uh, being static and not wanting to improve in anything is, is, is not good for you. And so, I mean, Nate, me and Nate's relationship is, is really, really good. Um, and, and talking is, is something that uh, he both, we both need to continue to get better at. We want to continue to lead this team in winning a championship. So that's our, that's our goal. We want to we win a championship. We don't want to win any, I mean, anything else. So we're trying to figure out how we can get better. And, and that's one of the areas that we talked about how we, we can get better at. So. 
Hi, Trey. Lauren from the AJC. I'm just curious, when did the idea of playing with DeJounte kind of start to excite you, and, and what are you looking forward to most about teaming up with him? Uh, I, mean, it, I mean, it was exciting to me as soon as I heard it was a possibility. Uh, just knowing his game and the, what he brings to the, I mean, to a team, I mean, it's hard to really point out what he's great at, um, but he's good at everything, like defense, scoring, passing, uh, really rebounding, playmaking. I mean, he's really good at everything. So just having somebody, um, I mean, who's, I mean, just as a competitor as, as I am um, in the backcourt with you, it's going to be, I mean, it's going to be fun. I can't wait. I can't wait to start playing. For, for whatever amount of time that you move off the ball this season, you led the league in assists last season. You're one of the great passers in the league. How do you take that and translate it to those situations where you're off the ball, coming at it from new angles? Does that excite you? Or are there challenges to that? Yeah, I mean, I also led the league in points last year, too, in total points. So I can score the ball, too. I know how to score the ball. So there's going to be times where I can strictly focus on scoring. And that's, I mean, that's fun. Like, I mean, I've had to really be, had to do both. I mean, for a long time and trying to get everybody involved and as well as score too. So it's going to be fun having somebody like DeJounte who he comes off a pick and roll and I'm in the corner and there's my man's got to pick, either choose the roll man or leave me open. So, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be pick your poison. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it and people don't have to, I mean, give us credit before it's due. So I, I'm ready. I'm ready to go show it. Hey, Trey, it's uh, AJ from Hawks Fan TV. First off, congrats on the birth of your son, man. I know Appreciate you got your hands full, probably, man. Uh, yeah. um, so wanted to ask, with the, the Eastern Conference, seemed like a bit of an arms race with teams stacking up and, you know, getting better. This is probably the best Eastern Conference we've seen in a long time. Um, does it give you faith that the uh, franchise actually made a move to get a guy like DeJounte and, you know, build around you and build and show that they pr prove to you that they want to win? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean... That's, that's my message, I mean, to them every time I talk to them is how much I want to win. Like, I don't, I mean, obviously, what I'm going to be based off of is, is winning, winning games and winning championships. So, because stats, stats don't do, do enough. So, for me, that's been my focus from day one since I got drafted and it still is today. So, I'm just trying to, trying to win. And with them getting DeJounte, understanding where we were, uh, at the end of the season, the playoffs, um, and knowing what we needed to do to get better, I think really just shows their commitment as well, like you said, to winning. And uh, and obviously, I always appreciate appreciate that aspect. Hey, Trey, Sam Crenshaw with a question. Um, Coach Nate earlier talked about who are we? Uh, are, you with the, are we the team that went to the Eastern Finals or the team that had to fight their way into the postseason? How do you answer that question? Or will we get the answer to that question as the season goes on? Yeah, I mean, don't nobody in this room know that those answers to that question. Um, but we, those guys in the locker room or the guys that I know who we had dinner with last night, um, we all believe what we can do. And we, we, we believe we can win a championship. I know I do. And, uh, I mean, I express that to my teammates, and I know they have that same mentality. So, um, I mean... It really doesn't matter what no what anybody else thinks of us or anything like that. It's, it's all about what we can do and what we show. So I'm just ready more than ever to go out there and play this year so so we can show that. Hey, Trey. Uh, Jack Trush with Hawksology. Uh, just wanted to ask, lots of shooters are also great screeners. Uh, what are some ways that setting screens will help you impact the off-ball playmaking for your teammates? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think... I think uh, Obviously, great shooters are, are great, great screeners because they know their man isn't going to leave them. So if, if you're a great screener, you know you're going to get your big man open. And uh, so I, I know that. I've gotten got my teammates open from setting screens. I know I can. That's why I want to get stronger. So that's why. I, so when I hit these big fellas, they, they feel me too. So uh, that, that's what it is. So I know I, I got to get my, my teammates involved by screening too. Hey, Trey, not a basketball question, but what are your bracelets that you're wearing on your wrist for? Oh, my bracelets, I got a, a little Evil Eye bracelet that I got with hearts, and I got my Titus. I always got my, my son now representing. You got my name. Thank you, Trey. Appreciate it. Oh. My man. Come got on, more. 
Okay. Oh, man. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, you almost got away. <laughs> no, nah, I'm cool with it. All right. Hey, to follow up a little bit on what Jeff asked you about with Nate, again, sort of was talking about wanting to communicate better. And so I don't sort of say it sounded rocky, but maybe that you guys weren't on the same page as much as he would like you to be like to be last season. What does that mean to you in terms of trying to improve that relationship and that communication? Yeah, I, I think you reach in. I think you trying to reach for something that ain't there. So I think the, the relationship ain't rocky. So uh, whatever you was trying to search for it ain't there. You know, it, it ain't rocky. I think, like, like I said, we can all be better in, in areas. Like we all trying to, we're trying to get better. We're not trying to stay the same. So how can you do that? As a point guard, for me, I've been, I've always been a leader by example. So now that I'm a point guard since eighth grade, ninth grade, I'm still learning how to be a leader by vocally, you know what I'm saying? So I think just it's not that I don't do it, it's just how can I get, be better? And I think that's what Nate and is talking about. And so our, our relationship is great. My teammates love me and I love my teammates. And we're about to go try to win this championship. Wait, Trey, one more. <laughs> 